A 90% efficient turbine expands superheated steam entering at 500 degrees and 200 PSIA to atmospheric pressure. What is the enthalpy of the leaving steam? So if you're doing these problems in order, this is a great one to try on your own. Um, it's very similar to the previous problem with the only difference being that at the end, instead of looking for delta H actual, we're looking for the enthalpy of the leaving steam, which is just H2 actual or H2 prime as we've called it. So come back after you've paused and tried on your own. And if you're stuck, watch the solution. I'm gonna go a little bit faster through some of the details because the process is exactly the same where we're assuming that the entropy at state two is equal to the entropy at state one for the ideal case first, and then finding the quality, finding the enthalpy, and um, you know using the efficiency at the end to figure out what the actual delta H is or um, the actual enthalpy at state two. But of course, we'll start with just a quick drawing of our turbine. We've got our two states state one entering, state one leaving. And our given information for the entering condition is that the temperature is 500 and the pressure is 200. And we can look that up in the superheated steam table. It is superheated. We find out that the enthalpy at that state is 1269 BTU per pound and the entropy is 1.624. BTU per pound Rankin. Sometimes I write this as pound Rankin, sometimes it's pound Fahrenheit. It's fine either way. So now we're gonna make that starting assumption that S2 equals S1, so the same entropy for the ideal case, but the pressure at two is different. It's atmospheric pressure, which is 14.7 PSIA. So now we're gonna to go to the uh, saturated steam table and go to the ones organized by pressure, go to the line for 14.7 PSI, and we're gonna look up the enthalpy and entropy values HF, HFG, SF, and SFG for state two. SF is 0.3122, SFG is 1.44443, a lot of fours there. HF is 180.18, and HFG is 970.07. And the first thing we're gonna do is find the quality at state two. And this is state two ideal because it's on the basis that the entropy at state two is the same as the entropy at state one, which we know is a temporary assumption since the turbine is only 90% efficient. So that's gonna be S2 minus SF over SFG, which is 1.624. And I'll skip the units for this part, minus SF, which is 0.3122 over SFG, which is 1.4443, and that gives us a quality of 0 0.908. And then we use that ideal quality to find the ideal enthalpy at state two. So H2 ideal is HF plus the quality at state two times HFG, which is 180.18 plus 0 0.908 times the enthalpy FG, which is 970.07, and that works out to 1061.26 BTU per pound. So now we're ready to apply the efficiency of the turbine, which is 90%. So we can say that the efficiency equals H1 minus H2 ideal divided by H1 minus H2. Ideal is in the denominator. So the numerator is H1 minus H2 actual, and the denominator is H1 minus H2 ideal. So the accent mark should go up top to represent actual. So now if we wanna do the algebra here, we multiply both sides by the ideal enthalpy, H1 minus H2, and then we've gotta add H2 over to the other side. Our goal is to get H2 actual by itself for this problem, because they wanna know what is the enthalpy of the leaving steam. So if you do the algebra on that, you'll get H2 prime equals H1 minus efficiency times H1 minus H2. And we know all of that, so we can plug it in. Enthalpy at state one, 1269, minus 90%, 0.9, times the quantity H1 minus H2, 1269 minus 1061.26. And we find H2 actual equals about 1082 BTU per pound. And just for a sense check, we can kind of compare that to 1061. If the enthalpy at state two had gotten down as low as 1061, then we'd have 100% isentropic efficiency, uh, but we do not, it does not get quite that low, it only gets down to 1082, and that's why the efficiency is only 90%. So the best answer choice is C. Would you like to have more solution videos like this one so you can pass the PE exam? Click the link in the description below to take your next step toward becoming a licensed professional engineer.